Hi there. My name is Ronnie. Um, in the near future, I will be teaching you many lessons. If you have a request, or if you'd like to leave a comment, please do. Today I'm going to talk to you or teach you about future progressive or future continuous. They're the same. So maybe you've learned future or you're trying to learn future progressive and you look on the internet or you look in a textbook and it says oh, future continuous no fear ladies and gentlemen future progressive and future continuous exactly the same grammar they just like to confuse you and give me a chance to teach you this so hallelujah and um, basically future progressive or future continuous we're going to use in the future for a planned action or an action that we think is going to happen or that will happen in the future. There's one very important thing that you must consider about the future progressive or future continuous is it must have a time marker in the sentence. So, if you do not put a time marker in the sentence, <sighs> it's wrong. Okay? It's 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 shameful. I don't know if I can talk to you anymore about it. So, do me a favor. Please just use a time marker. Let's go through the basic structure. Future simple, future progressive 101. We're going to have a subject. We're going to have will or won't. Then we're going to have be and a verb with an ing. Positive, negative. The question form or the interrogation form, we're going to have will plus the subject plus be plus verb ing. Now, remember, when you ask someone a question, please ask them in the positive form because for example if I said won't you be learning English how won't I be learning yes no oh. please 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 keep it simple always ask people a positive question I don't care what your grammar is positive questions are always the easiest answer let's jump to the form so example I will be eating lunch at 12. I always eat lunch at 12. Kind of like a habit that I have. Um, in this sentence, can you tell me where the time marker is? Oh, what's the answer? Sorry? At 12. Ah, good answer. Tommy, good one. So, in this sentence, at 12 is our time marker. Subject will be verb ing. Then I have my noun at 12. I will be eating lunch when? At 12. This is what I plan to happen. This is what I hope will happen. I'm hungry. Um, in this sentence, at this time, tomorrow, we, we will be sitting on the beach. Oh, wouldn't that be great? If you would like to go to the beach with me, just throw me some money for an airplane ticket. I'll be on the next airplane. I'll be sitting on the beach drinking some margaritas with you. So, at this time tomorrow, we will be sitting on the beach. In this sentence, do you know where my time marker is? So we have this big fat one, at this time tomorrow. So this tells me exactly when, in the future, I think the action will happen. They will be going to Italy this year. Oh, they're lucky. Hi everyone in Italy. Thanks for watching. Besos or bravo or something Italian there. Good wine, guys. They will be going to Italy this year. In this sentence, we have yeah. this year. The grammar is quite easy. Again, subject will be plus verb ing. Oh, uh, but maybe something happened 
And now, unfortunately, uh-oh, guess what? Reality, Ronnie won't be going to Italy this year. But if you'd like to send me an airplane ticket to go to Italy, I'll be there. I'll be on the next airplane, I promise. Mm -hmm. Airplane tickets. Donate money. Ingvid.com. Also, um, <clears throat> I have a YouTube channel. You want to join that? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Send me some airplane ticket money. I'll hang out with you. Um, we will be sleeping by the time you get home. Sorry, he. Not me. I'm going to be awake. He will be sleeping by the time you get home. In this sentence, by the time you get home, tells us when in the future the action is going to happen. So what is he going to be doing? He will be sleeping by the time you get home. Then the party starts, right? And um, let's look at the question form, some examples. We <clears throat> are going to use this to check plans. Now, maybe you're going to have a party. And you're like, oh, okay, well, um, well, what time? Well, will they be coming at six tomorrow? In this sentence, we have two time markers. We have a time and a place. So will they be coming at six tomorrow? We need to know what the plan is. Will Tommy M, hi Tommy M. Will Tommy M be emailing Ronnie in the future? Now, obviously the future continuous or the future progressive happens in the future, but this also serves as my time marker. Tommy M, email. We have the will, modal. We have the subject of Tommy M. We have B, and then verb ing. If you can think about something, a planned action or a routine that you will be doing in the future, let me know. As an example, I will be buying Ronnie an airplane ticket to go to Italy or anywhere in the world I'd like, except Toronto. I'm already here. If you plan or if you would like to come to Toronto, I've got something special for you. I'm going to be doing special nights and maybe special tours so you can hang out with me and learn very natural English. I've got a Facebook page that I'd like you to go to. Um, I will give you the address or the, the name of the Facebook page. You can go there and you'll find out all the wonderful information. Check this Facebook page out. 